Hello everyone, Marches here and welcome back to the channel. And today I'll be discussing one of your most asked questions uh, through my DMs, through Instagram or here in the comments in YouTube. You've been asking me what sneakers, basketball sneakers specifically, that you can also rock off court. Of course, here in Manila, when you're going to play in a gym and afterwards you're going out, you're going to the mall, you want to still look good. So which sneaker can you rock outside at the same time, play with them. So here are my top choices. Of course, it really depends on the outfit that you're wearing, the colors, the look that you want to give on that certain day or that certain moment and what court you're playing. The first in my list in no particular order is the LeBron 16s. OG or the low, especially the game at colorway is really dope. Also the Safari colorway it didn't release here. The one that I released here, of course, is the game at Titan collab and I really like that color and it's blue. New buck upper is really nice. You can rock them with skinny jeans or jogger pants or shorts. It is very easy to pair with and of course the performance on the LeBron 16s are awesome. You can play with them outdoors. The traction is really made of very hard durable rubber. The traction on the LeBron 16s are amazing. It's one of the most dependable traction that is out now in the market. And at the same time, of course, the cushioning. One of the best in the market right now, the LeBron 16's cushioning. Air Max Zoom Units, man, the cushion is really nice. And of course, the LeBron 16's look good, in my opinion, especially like the Gimat colorway, the Watda that I have here. And of course, the other one, the Throne, the black one with the glow in the dark outsole. I put the crown in the laces, which is really dope looking for an opportunity to wear them again maybe when i go out clubbing with my friends so that's the lebron 16s next on my list is adidas dame fives the dame's five silhouette looks like a boot and right now there are a lot of nice colorways of the dame fives i especially like the green camo colorway that recently came out i really love that and of course the black panther colorway with accents of gold for the green camo it gives you that vape vibe so if you're more into the streetwear that kind of vibe. I think the Dame 5 in the green camo colorway is a nice sneaker to have. You can play with it, of course. Outdoor, indoor, the traction is good. And of course, with that camo colorway, it comes with a gum bottom, which is very good for traction-wise. Upper is made of synthetic leather, which is also nice. It is very easy to maintain. Play with them at the same time, rock them off court with some jogger pants, and you can get that very sporty or active wear look. Next up on my list is the most futuristic sneaker in this list one of the most expensive too of course it's the nike adapt bb currently sold out right now you can buy them on resellers but with the shoe in my opinion it looks really good it looks very futuristic if you're into that kind of things what i have right now is the air mag colorway which i think is really sick it has a light blue upper with some hints of gray on the cushioning and of course adapt db is a very nice performer the traction is very good the cushioning is also surprisingly good tech that you'll be having on adapt db is a head turner especially when you light up the bottoms especially if you go out clubbing going to the bars when it's really dark and you light up those buttons i think you will catch some attention next up on my list is i think the most versatile among this list it is the adidas marquee boost it really gives you that very classic adidas vibe a very classic sneaker you can rock it with a very slim jeans jogger pants shorts i mean the marquee boost really looks great especially for casual wear i think this one is the most practical in terms of price point in terms of look and in terms of performance, it really performs well. You can play with them outdoors or indoors. Depending on the upper, on the darker colorways, it's very easy to maintain. It features full and loose, which is one of the most comfortable cushion. So when you're walking the mall, you feel very comfortable. And impact protection is very nice. Also, there's enough bounciness in the forefoot. I mean, the Marquee Boost is one of the most practical sneakers to have if you want to rock it in court and for lifestyle wear. So next up in my list is the Wyna 0.2 SE version, the special edition. It is a low cut if you want that chunky looking sneaker and a futuristic look. Why not 0.2 SE version is a shoe to have. On court, it performs awesome. Traction is amazing, cushion is amazing, very supportive upper. And at the same time, it looks very good in my opinion. It gives you that futuristic vibe, that off-white feel in it. Because of its deconstructed look, the Why Not 0.2 SE version is a must-have. Next on my list 
is the Kyrie Low 2. One of the cheaper sneakers in my list. The Kyrie Low 2 looks very sleek, very low profile. You can rock them off court, of course, depending also on the colorway and where you will match it. It looks good on shorts, on jogger pants, and some colorways are really dope. Like my Mr. Krabs colorway, it looks really nice. Now I'm wishing that the sandy colorway will come out here in the Philippines because a triple white colorway looks very clean and it is an easy sneaker to match with your outfits. So last in my list is the Nike PG3 over there. Although I have the orange NASA colorway, other NASA colorways is all gray or all silver. Those are very clean. And also that colorway with all white with gold accent. I mean, you can rock them with shorts, jogger pants. That looks really clean and nice in my opinion. The Nike PG3 in some colorways are very easy to rock on court and off court. On court, the Nike PG3 is an awesome performer. One of my favorite sneaker in terms of performance. The outsole is very durable, the traction is amazing, and the cushion setup on the Nike PG3s is also awesome. And also in some colorways, they look very clean. So that's it on my list of the top basketball shoes that you can easily rock off court or lifestyle wear. I hope I help you guys out in choosing. Let me know which one you have or which sneaker you are planning to get. Hit me up a comment down below. This has been Marches once again. Thank you for watching this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.